This video is about the history of wireless generation. Let's explore how the wireless network began and evolved in every generation. 1G refers to the first generation in cellular mobile phone technology. It employed analog radio signals and remained the telecommunications standard until the advent of 2G. Here are a few facts about 1G. In 1979, Nippon Telegraph and Telephone NTT, in Japan launched the world's first automated cellular network for commercial use. In 1981 the Nordic Mobile Telephony NMT, introduced international roaming in a cellular network, the first of its kind. The USA introduced its first 1G network for the Motorola Dynatac cellular phone. 2G refers to the second generation in cellular mobile phone technology. It was first commercially launched during the early 90s. Here are a few facts about 2G. 2G was the first network to use digital data in phone conversations. Thus, the quality of phone calls was remarkably improved over analog data. 2G dramatically reduced the intricacies of data transmission. But the data transfer rates were much slower compared to those of the succeeding generation. 2G was the first to offer short messaging service, SMS, text messaging. There was a short phase between 2G and 3G, where technologies like 2.5G and 2.75G were launched. Here are a few facts about 2.G. GPRS, for one, offered network speeds that ranged from 56 to 114 kilobytes per second kbps. Most 3G services, on the other hand, boast network speeds of 144 kilobits per second or higher. Variations of this standard also supported other services such as MMS, SMS-based mobile games and WAP. 2.75G marked the evolution of GPRS to the edge network, which promised faster and more improved data transmission rates compared to its predecessor. Here are a few facts about 2.75G. Although Edge came in the pre-3G era, the International Telecommunications Union ITU, officially defined it as a 3G technology. 3G refers to the third generation in cellular mobile phone technology. It set the standards for most of the wireless networks that we have grown familiar with. It was first commercially launched in 2001. It was also the first mobile broadband capable wireless network. Here are a few facts about 3G. With data transmission rates of at least 200 kilobits per second, 2 megabits per second, 3G allows for a high speed data transfer and more data capacity, at a low cost. 3G enables a wide variety of applications such as web browsing, email, voice and video call, online TV and video streaming, even in high definition, online games, sharing and downloading multimedia, teleconferencing and a lot more. Any of these services can be accessed at the same time. 3.5G's definition is interchangeable with High Speed Packet Access HSPA, a combination of two protocols, the High Speed Downlink Packet Access SPA, and High Speed Uplink Packet Access SUPA. It is said to be five times faster than the 3G. Here are a few facts about 3.5G. 3.5G is designed as an improvement in performance over 3G, which uses the Wideband Code Division Multiple Access WCDMA, protocol. Basically it's faster than 3G. 3.75G has evolved High Speed Packet Access, also known as HSPA+. It is another cellular technology which is a further evolution of the HSPA standard. Here are a few facts about 3.75G. It promises, and often comes up short, data transmission rates of up to 168 megabits per second for download and 22 megabits per second for upload. Depending on the conditions, they're pretty comparable to 4G LTE speeds. These kinds of speeds are achieved by using MIMO, multiple input and multiple output, a technology wherein multiple antennas are used at both the transmitter and the receiver. 4G refers to the fourth generation of cellular mobile phone technology. It has the same array of services like 3G but its key value is it provided the first true internet broadband data transmission rates. Here are a few facts about 4G. It was first commercially deployed in Norway and Sweden in 2009. It promises improved transmission rates which are 10 times to the speed of the 3G technologies. 
coverage of 4G has greatly expanded over the past few years to become more available in major metropolitan areas and developed countries. LTE means long-term evolution, a mobile communication standard for high-speed wireless internet connection for mobile devices and data terminals. Here are a few facts about 4G LTE. While 4G LTE is definitely faster than 3G, not all people can benefit from this service, especially to those who do not live in metropolitan areas. While providers do offer 4G or 4G LTE networks, you have to have the right phone and have access to the right network to be able to take advantage of the speed improvements. It is the proposed next generation of the cellular mobile phone technology, aiming to set higher speeds than the speeds in 4G. As it is still in development, it's not yet available for general use. Here are a few facts about 5G. There are rumors that many companies have begun testing 5G products. Some companies have come up with hardware and routers, while others have begun to introduce 5G platforms for network. 5G will likely have data transmission rates of up to 1 to L0 gigabits per second, GBPS, which is a significant increase from 4G. Oh, <laughs> oh,